I'm going to pack one, pick one the Twister, and hope, hope to wield the memory. We'll see. It's a fun combination. I'm going to take Watery Grave here, I guess. Go looking for, like, Orcs and Shieldred. Unlikely to see them in pack one, but having the mana might be good. Future packs. I think Zip Knight. You got a 2x4 through your window last night. Brutal, Nandimo. My condolences to the window. Jesus fucking Christ, this pack. This pack still has like four or five first picks in it. <laughs> the Tularean Academy is the intuitive pickup. Really wish I knew if we were going to get the memory back. Because then Wheel of Fortune would be sweet, huh? Getting two draw sevens. Minsk and Boo's fucking nuts. And Lelio's fucking nuts. Moxo Bull to make me feel silly for passing Academy. Bound to happen. Black not looking especially open. Kind of hate these blue cards. I'm able to just take a dragon. I'll take the Strix. I kind of like the Treachery. I've played Elemental Eruption a few different times. A few different random Storm decks. He's got Moxable Tattooed. Very cool Sloggy. Yeah, I love that card. Anyone ask how the movie was? Oh, yeah. I dug it a lot first, worst. Very good. Yeah, someone did a stip for Eruption specifically. And we uh, got it off a couple times, but mostly lost to Sweepers. And then we had a Rug st Storm. We had a Stip for Storm, and we ended up Rug with it. It was pretty good. This might be a solid Name Sticker Goblin Shell. L.A. Story is a good film, yeah. Love me some Steve Martin. Research Desk, Manamorphos, and Oliphant are all super viable in this spot. I think I want this. Hey, there we go. That's what I was hoping for. <laughs> With the twister into wheel, I was really hoping memory was going to wheel. Otherwise, my build path here wouldn't make much sense. Which one did I prefer? Furiosa or Fury Road? Uh, they're both great films. I prefer Furiosa slightly due to the pacing. Yeah, real good one to see in theaters, of course. Good luck, Trigani. It's a uh, action movie. I guess we're just grabbing one more draw seven here, huh? Just have fucking all of them. Pyromancer might have been the pick. I don't know. I don't even remember what I took over it. Sale. Oh, another draw seven. Yeah. <laughs> In our draw seven deck. Shouldn't be that counterintuitive, hum. We could have memory jar here too. Is that all of them? Is that all the draw sevens? Just every single one in the cube. Yeah, shielded and um orcs are combo cards. That's why I grabbed that water grave on like the second or third pick or whatever. Oh, this echo is still somewhere, sure. You thought Season Pyromancer looked good here? We have a bunch of three drops already. The Punishers. Well, we already have one combo card with the memory. Ooh, Duelist is another one. 
Also, power is equal to the number of cards drawn this turn. So now we got a couple. We do need a little bit of fixing if we want to play the sale. And maybe a fast one if we see it. Imperial Seal is sweet. Highway Robbery is interesting. You can like plot it and then draw seven and then cast it. I kind of wish the Soul Scar Mage was Swift Spear. I think that'd be a little bit interesting in this deck. Could take Everflowing Chalice. A little awkward that it doesn't tap for any color of mana in our four color pile here. Hey, Chromox is tempting. Dream Walls is good with all the draw sevens, but I'm going to take the Chrome Mox. Misty's hot. Anything more important than Misty here? I don't think so. There's Pluto Delta, but uh, Misty already gets the Watery Grave, so. Yeah, pretty off this pack. Couple options in the lands. Fire Islet's not crazy. I think I'm just going to take the Relic. Sail does not exile itself. I think Time Spiral is the only one that does. I think if I want to consider, I just want to throw a Cauldron in the sideboard. Hey. Now we got an interesting one. Now Cruel Ultimatum would be fucking sweet, huh? I think I'm just grabbing Lotus Petal. Talisman of Curiosity, also interesting, but I mean, Lotus Petal gets better if, if your old decks draw sevens, and that's currently our deck, so. Normally, I'm, I'm on the, like, Draft fourth and splash it every time you see it plan. I don't like that here though. We're already kind of stretching things. I think Luring and Revealed is really good with Dream Halls too. So I'll just grab that one. You like Underworld Breach? I don't think Underworld Breach does anything for me. There's some interesting duels. I think this Valk is pretty important. The Luring and Revealed can't get the Badlands. There's that Swiss Spear card. Wonder if it'll wheel. Is upheaval interesting? I feel like it's not. I mean, it's really good with Memory Jar. We just don't have that much fast mana. Counter Spell, Retrofitter, and Chrome Host Seed Shark are all interesting to me here. I guess I'll take the Shark. Shroff having haste could be really important. Breeding pool's interesting. Thinking about Sheldock. Thinking about these counters. I think we're cutting this investigator. Actually, I might get away with cutting black entirely. I was keeping my toe into black in case we saw Shield Rid or Orcs in pack three, but none of that happened. Then I get to cut Tar Pit, which is kind of nice. Breach to mill them with draw sevens. Well, Spiral reshuffles the graveyard back in, as does Time Twister. And we would be drawing at the same rate as them, so like we would deck at the same time. Yeah, I was kind of hoping the Swift Spear would wheel, but at least we got the um, the show off, huh? Might let me win the turn that I start going off with Breach. Or not Breach, but um, Dream Halls. All right, I got to go to the bathroom. I need a quick bathroom break. I will be back in a few minutes. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Wait. Do everything I wouldn't do. Wait, no. Do whatever you want. I've returned. A 
Kind of looks like a DATCOM. Might cut Bergy here. Although Bergy could help me get up to Eruption Mana or something. Or maybe the Dragon. Maybe I'll cut the Dragon. Oh, but the Dragon's another Haster. Hasters are just nice with the memory. Because you can play a draw seven, draw into your fucking fresh hand, find a haste creature, play it. Get the memory boost. Yeah, we'll do that. I don't think I need... Well, I do for the Misty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 12 red and 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 blue. Is that right? Oh, that's 11 blue. That's yeah, fine. Currently, not much of a rush. Next turn, we can go Relic into Memory. A. Nice basics, but thank you. I'm a fan of those sagas. To play around days or not, I guess I will. Hopefully, uh, this turn is showing you like why I was real stoked about having some hasters in the deck. Some hasty critters. I really wanted that Monastery Swift Spirit of Wheel. How am I doing? Doing well, AI Coder. We just trophied, and now we got a real weird one. Real wild one here. Ah, uh, fuck this Thopter Foundry. Just infinite blocks. In our deck that's killing by connecting with like a big chonker. The last time I did this with memory and a bunch of draw sevens, I had true name and that was a real nice one. Real nice one to get in. I think they got me. Oh, the might should be in. I shouldn't be con cutting consider, but no, it was an easy, easy snag there. Chat's like really hell bent to like fucking <laughs> figure out the unblockable thing, but no, it's it's fine. We just boarded an answer to the Thopter combo. That's pretty common. The chat hyper focus. It's a problem that needs to be solved. At least the sea shark's not getting dazed, Tom. Huh? 
If you kill the creature they target with treachery, it wouldn't untap. Yeah, the creature they targeted was a fucking nine ten. If nothing happens to this shark for a few turns, maybe we can cast Lorraine Reveal and get a nice 5-5. Five five. The purpose of that daze is that the, the Magda is going to turn the daze off anyway. So they're just trying to slow me down a little bit. God damn it. Eruption would have been a hot one to get on a shell dock. I don't know why that would matter at all, Mecha Tank. Shell Dog, I'll cast the card for free. Oh, you said never mind. Well, never mind my response. See Healy coming down, sure. Get to workshop and the good things. It's a really nice workshop. I think I'm just making two dragons here. Dagron's little Dagron action. Turn. Draw three cards. Yeah, when you're drafting around workshop, it can be difficult to get enough like disruption, like days, larcenous, that sort of thing. But it looks like they found a nice balance. Relic and jewel are both great workshop cards, right? It's a lot of mana. It's starting to look kind of impossible, I think. Now we just have like a bunch of prowess triggers for our dragons. Target a treasure, dragon to make a treasure. Yeah, I mean, I, it, it didn't matter, friend. It didn't matter. We weren't sure on mana. But yes. Yeah, and a wrath would have been hard, right? Like, balance wasn't going to do it. Not in love with this hand. And in fact, it may be bad.
I almost wanted to leave the um, eidetic in the deck. Almost just like didn't even imprint anything there. It's not really a scry for no. You want to be able to play this card? Well, no, they don't have days for dream halls. Huh? Eh? All right, Niad 99. They got three cards in hand. Hopefully none of those are counters, huh? Because this next turn could be quite sweet. Left a servo back. Hmm. I've seen better sevens. Yeah, you need some acceleration because, like, turn five Dream Halls is so slow. But it is a bummer to rip Talisman and not a spell to pitch there. Free cast a card. If I play three non creature spells next turn, that's two seven sevens. Hmm. Expressive reveals Ancient Tomb. No idea, Ikomodum. Every time you cast a spell, it asks like how you want to cast it, so they should know. They might have a similar hand to my own, where it's just like a bunch of lands. Lands and cheap spells. Triumph cycle, I'm sure. Well, that's fucking interesting. So if they had Brain Freeze there, they could have killed me when I played the Eidetic here. That would have us lose to Ancestral. Okay, cool. Oh, she went up. Hey, Daniel, talk five. Thanks for the sub. Thanks for 46 months. So many. Yeah, hope you have a good long weekend. Not gonna be bidding this Olafon. I might be casting this Olafon. That might be the plan here. Not a very good plan, but 
run out Talisman on two, and then wait until three to play the name sticker. And two thirds of the time, I'll be able to play the Oliphant off that. I could also just high roll. Bowmasters, they got Bowmasters in their deck. I don't, I don't think I can beat that card. We have Pyrokinesis as like our one out. <laughs> uh huh. I was thinking if it if it made uh five mana, then I could write a flame up to the Oliphant. Bit of a bummer there. And obviously if it makes six, that's just enough. So we have the two thirds, but it happens. Next turn we have enough for Oliphant anyway, just write a flame it out. All right, let's scoop worthy. Yeah, pyrokinesis for the orc, or um, just like making three or four four fours are like my only ways to beat an an orc. I think I almost want to bring in Kappa Cannon here. I think shield is harder. Maybe it's slower too, right? Two mana is so easy. Comes down like before our draw sevens. Don't love this opener, but we do have a cantrip. We're on the play, and we have an answer to orc. It's not great, but I can see a path to victory. Especially if we rip a land, just get to cast memory on two instead of having to crack pedal for it. So we'd have three mana towards dream halls. Perfect. Not really perfect, but... <laughs> sure. Hey. I'm gonna let them loot. If I was gonna play the Pyrokinesis, I'd be pitching Mastery. I kinda like the idea of going Dream Halls into Eruption again, like we did the other game. And there's also saving Pyrokinesis for the Orcs whenever that shows up. Maybe I discard the Pyrokinesis to the Eruption, and then we can Mastery back Eruption on the following turn. Maybe I'll just rip a red source, or a red card, and go Pitch Cast Eruption, Pitch Cast Mastery on Eruption. I gotta imagine that's winning, right? I gotta imagine. Come on, deck.
not the best ever, but, you know, a couple 4-4s. Not the worst either. There's a Neem Sticker Goblin underneath Sheldock Isle. Not especially exciting. We might need a good one here. Twister would be hot. Unless they had orcs in hand, of course. Or spiral, get the most, get the max man untapped. Pretty prepared to rip sail into the west and not be able to cast it. Sheldak's almost turned on. It's even more and more likely that they are, in fact, going to uh, have an orc for me here. Oh, maybe jumping with the with the fucking name sticker goblin was correct. Can't serve with bolt dragons there because we'd be dead on board. They got the fire blast that they can flash bank. Or no, they already flashed a bank. That's what that last turn was. Firebolt. Silly meme. Well, this looks like plenty of damage anyway. We block two of these and take eight. Because the shell dock out can put a 2-2 two -two out. Anyway. Where were our fucking draw sevens? That's what I want to know. We actually had a reasonable chance of winning that game based on our opponent's draw. We just, <laughs> we just never saw one of our, like, ten draw sevens. All right, fair enough. I think we have like five in here. <laughs> and they're one of our few ways to win is pairing them with memory. Hmm. I want to pyrokinesis this bird. I'm just not really sure what to cut with the exile. It might be a slick shot. I'm just on to play Magda. Bummer to lose one of my hasters. That's part of it, I'm rando, but the the mana the mana is nice for sure. It's just like a way better two drop than the slick shot is. Playing around days? I mean, if it's correct, I do it. Oh shit, what up? Hey, Nabellin. Thanks for the sub. Thanks for 58 months. Thanks, buddy.
<laughs> oh no, alliterator aim. Yeah, a lot of times it's correct to play into the days, make them have it. Especially in cube when there's only like one copy, right? One potential copy in two thirds of drafts. Hi, Avant 503. Thanks for the sub. Thanks for sharing the prime. Oh, brutal alliterator. Yeah. Yeah, mistakes happen. We're not going to redraw the Magda. We're going to cycle this uh, Lorien Revealed and then untap and fire off Wheel of Fortune. Hey, 100 view bots. Thanks for the 20 bucks. 100 view bots says, Hey, Caleb, saw the hole in your roof. Maybe you can cover it with this $20 pill. Just, like, staple it over the hole. <laughs> Appreciate that, 100 view bots. Oh, yeah. I've got Acid Mammoth on my, um, on my battle vest. As well as the sword and fair to Midland. <laughs> yeah, what the, the, the hole in the roof is referring to is this tree branch just like went straight in. You can see it's like ripped open at the bottom. It's just like just fucking plowed through. And then when I cut it out, this is what the hole looked like. So you imagine how fast this fucking tree branch must have been moving to just fucking pierce a roof like that. You gotta imagine if that hurt a person and just impale them, right? But it's just the garage, and uh, it's right down there on the edge or whatever. So my garage hasn't started leaking yet or anything. And I got a roof repair type company coming over to check it out early next week. Yeah, exactly, Seth. Could be much worse. Cut up the branch for wood to patch the hole. Amazing. Hey, alliterator, things the 34 months. Chip it in for the roof fund. Hell yeah. Fucking 11, you. Yeah, for sure, dudes. You booked the first All Fires show ever? Hell yeah, Novellan. You should be stoked. That's exciting as shit. I think I would rather they had played a Wrath here on the One Ring. At least the wheel made them discard Breach, Black Lotus, <laughs> and Time Warp. My god. I don't know if the jar puts this on the mill plan, but it might uh, let me favorably interact with their um, whatever they're doing there combo wise. Hey, Critchita girl, you just got back from the hospital. Your kidney almost failed, but you're alive and healthy finally. Hey, that's good to hear, Queer Cheetah. I'm sorry to hear about your kidney. That fucking sucks. I'm glad you're. I'm glad you're back. Doing a little better. I wonder what the beard stash tank is here. Fair enough. I wonder what their plan is with the breach in the graveyard. Yeah, I think there's only two creatures with that questing beast text, um, the anti ring text. At least in the cube. It's Cubian Giant. Almost ended up with a giant. Flaring pain in the cube? It seems a little narrow. Does Sulfuric Vortex stop the one ring? No, that was just life life gain, right? 
There's got to be something actually reasonable. That makes it so damage can't be prevented. Well, now Lurus can rebuy Breach, which can then rebuy Black Lotus. So that's not good for me. Their plan is to take 20 minutes before even drawing with Ring. Yeah. <laughs> it, has, it has been a bit, hasn't it? Okay. Well, if they're not playing Breach, just playing some Duders. Currently, they don't die to the dragon, right? They go to one. And then on top of the lifelinker, they revise Black Lotus. Correct, Schwab. How's Furiosa? Furiosa was great. Highly recommend. They cannot bounce the Wondering with Krakus. Only creatures. Like my Magda here. Yeah, the true name just blocks Soul Scar Mage here. Oh, very cool Thopter Gifts. I don't know if I even heard anything about it. Yeah, I gotta imagine they're favored to win from here, but we'll see. It doesn't force a trade zinger. They have three creatures there, and there would only be two attackers, right? Oh yeah, super nothing wrong with going solo. The theaters, done it plenty of times. You're just there for the big screen. It is kind of nice to have someone to talk about the movie with afterwards, but it's not like a necessary thing. I didn't like it, White Seal, so I didn't do it. I didn't like that it was giving the opponent the option and tapping my creatures and not really accomplishing anything. So I didn't do it. Alerts have to serve them. Maybe they got another thing. Resolves. And chat wanted to force the Luris to trade. Psh. Another answer to the one ring. I say another, but a answer. <laughs> a answer to the one ring. Might be okay. Yeah, nine minutes on the clock. Gotta win twice. That might be hard. Impossible if the next game is, uh, slows that one, hum. Who knows, though? Could be the internet connection. Might be as fast as they can go. Might be newer to Moto. You never know those things. Maybe their house is on fire and they're trying to like put out the house fire while also play Magic Online. That would slow me down, too. Are there people new to Moto? Oh, yeah. There are people that, like, only play Moto when Cube is up and stuff. And they dip in, dip out. And not especially practiced. Super normal. Oh, yeah, DeLorean. I think we're there. Basically, if there's like a 10 plus uh, minute gap between between time totals, I'm fine just letting that be the win condition. Fair enough. 